And joining me now is the mayor of Ottawa, Mark Sutcliffe. Mr. Sutcliffe, thank you for taking the time for CTV today amid what is obviously a very difficult time for your community. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, your reaction to this news, and I know there was a press conference earlier today. You attended with police trying to share your thoughts about what has been just an unbelievable situation for Ottawa. It's heartbreaking, Todd. Uh, uh, as a father, uh, as the mayor of the city of my hometown, it's it's just so devastating to hear about the loss of life, uh, including the children who died, who were very young ages, from two and a half months old to seven years old. And as a parent and as a member of the community, it's just so shocking to hear that news and so troubling and disturbing. Uh, and I know that's the reaction that a lot of people in the community are having. It's it's very difficult to process this news and to understand what happened. And I think everyone is in shock and disbelief. And so we have to pull together as a community in the face of this grief and sadness. Yeah, Mark, what have you been hearing from people, not only in, in Barhaven where this happened, but, but across Ottawa in the last couple of hours? Everybody is just shocked. And I, I think a lot of parents obviously are reacting because of the young children involved. And people have a lot of questions about how this could have happened and why. And, and the police investigation will give us answers over time. But uh, it, it's, it's so difficult to understand, especially in a part of our community that is known for being peaceful and quiet and tranquil. Bar Haven's a wonderful neighborhood in our city, a rapidly growing part of the city, a multicultural, diverse part of the city. And so it's very troubling to hear of something like this happening anywhere in Ottawa, but but especially for the people who live in Bar Haven, it's very difficult for them to understand. Yeah, and obviously an international dimension too. These uh, victims were all newcomers to Canada from Sri Lanka uh, and, you know, starting a new life in Canada. And then for this to happen, Mark. Yeah, that's, that's especially difficult to process because we know that people come to Canada and come to Ottawa because it is a warm and welcoming place. And Barhaven is a wonderful, diverse community and, and so many people feel welcome there and arrive in a place like that to, to start a new life and, and uh, hoping to be in a, in a place that is safe and peaceful. And Ottawa is safe and peaceful every day of the year, uh, almost every day of the year. Uh, this is extremely rare, extremely unusual. And so it's the, it's so tragic to think that a family would have been here hoping for a better life, a more peaceful life. And, and instead, it's ended with, with so many members of the same family dead. And uh, I just, I know so many people in our community are really struggling with this. I understand this is the first time this kind of thing has ever happened in Ottawa, or certainly for a long, long time, Mark. That's my understanding as well. I, I was a journalist for about 30 years before I uh, went into politics, and I don't remember ever covering an event like this, especially with so many young children involved, and especially those young ages. Uh, so uh, no, nobody can remember another incident like this one in, in the last 30 or 40 years in this city. It's it's, uh, you know, I think I think last year there were something like 12 to 15 homicides the entire year in Ottawa. So for six people to die on the same day is an incredibly devastating event. What are the next days going to look like? It's going to be very difficult for the community and especially for the Sri Lankan community in Ottawa. And my heart goes out to the members of that community as well. Um, I know that uh, the police are going to continue to investigate. They shared some information at the news conference this afternoon, and they'll continue to share more information as they learn more. It's only been a, a, a matter of hours, not even a full day since this took place. So more information will come out. But I think really what our community needs to do is to pull together and support each other and reach out to each other. Everyone is going to be affected by this and, and maybe everyone in different ways. Parents will be affected by it. Children will be affected by it. Uh, there are there are classmates of these of some of these young children who died who are going to have a difficult time processing this. Schoolmates, uh, there are going to be maybe fellow soccer players and and that sort of thing. So, uh, so many different people are going to be affected by this, and we all need to pull together and support each other during this difficult time. Mark Sutcliffe is the mayor of Ottawa. Mark, thank you for your time. Our thoughts are with your community today. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it.